Hey, today I'll be doing a video about um, your first period. So, um, since you heard the, the word period, you've probably been wondering what it is, or you probably know. And um, although most girls get their first period between 11 to 14 years old, this is when your blood comes from your part. So, um, you could get your period anywhere from 8 to 17 years old. You could narrow that down by taking the leaves from your body. During puberty, that's when your body becomes mature. You'll have some of the changes that show your period is on its way. By the way, these changes may happen in a different order, it's just I'm just doing them in my order anyway, but like sometimes grown people care could be on top of developing breath, so you never know. So, first is developing breath. First you'll get breath bulbs, so um that's when then you know and your breath then can take up to three to four years to fully develop. Generally you'll get your period two to three years after your breath start developing. Okay. Then the next one is growing pubic hair. Right after your breast start to form, you'll start developing pubic hair. So um pubic hair you're probably wondering what is that, but um it's when you go here under your armpits or down there. So um so that's where I enter your breast and um, okay. It will be um, soft and thin at first, but then it will become big and long and really thick. So um, your period usually runs um, around one to two years after the hair development. So the next one is discharge. This is the big sign. So um, they'll start to experience discharge it's from it's from your pants and it's normal with every woman so don't at first I thought I was gonna die to be honest. I I like I my my ran to me mom, Mom, what's happening? So um it was quite and um, I didn't know and she's just there laughing at me like it's when you grow up. So it's normal in every woman. So um I don't think you're dying like me I'm, I'm very overreactive but um that's been usually called. <laughs> So, um, some, some girls have very little discharge, then some girls have more discharge than others. Um, you can help keep the discharge under control by making sure your private part is clean and dry all the time. Make sure that you don't leave a wet swimming suit on for long, for long either. That can cause infections. So, um, there's one more other way to find out when you'll when you'll get ask your mom you'll probably get your period a year or so of when she got hers since um you'll only have a general idea of what you'll get your of when you'll get your period you might want to do some planning some girls can use pads at least for their first period you your first period will probably be fairly light so um just um, get the panty liners or ultra, uh, always thin ultra regular and um, so that's really it and um, I just keep my stuff in here this because I don't want people rooting like some people root through my bag I don't, like friends or um, fellas or so I just keep it in a pencil case pretend it is a, my pencil case or so what I keep in there is a pair of pants, panties, underwear, and um, just because um it might go through your pants, so I always keep a pair of them. Then I have two pads and four panty liners, and um, because sometimes I I might have um big gushing from gushing from me or sometimes I might just um then I sometimes I have, when I'm when I'm gushing I use these and then when I um 
nosh, I just use panty lengths. So that's what I keep in my bag. And that's it. And so um, you should always probably make a little small period kit. Or you can keep them in your survival kit if you have a survival kit. So just keep um, it's there. I just made one of these because I thought it was easier. I think it's easier. It's just, it's nice and private because um, some people might just take something from you and might, uh, like, I, I don't know. I just always keep it in its own little separate bath now because I think it's more, um, it's just more better and it's not mixing in with anything else in your survival kit. And, and it's nice and clean in here and sometimes if in my survival kit it might be a bit of a mess and makeup can go everywhere like just if I have a bit of eyeliner in my survival kit it can get on the back I know I have to exchange one panty line for another so and it's just easy for you as well it just it's small it's small you don't need a big thing for your or even you can mix them in with your survival kit. Let's just say that's my survival kit. You only need a small survival kit. I'll put them in there. I just have a little pen in there. So, um, that's that. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you got some tips and clues, which you did. But, um, okay, bye.